Hello. Today is Saturday and it is sunny outside here in Wisma. And to snow more, there's nothing to do. So let's explore the city and learn a little bit about the city itself. Let's explore. Here we have a soccer field. Germany is known for a lot of things. Technology, development, and one of them is sport. As you may have heard about Bayern München, in every state they have their own sport uh, team. Like here, they have Rostock FC, and Hansa FC and so on. And so, in almost every city, they have sport fields where people can come and play and they have team and so on. And they compete sometimes in the international stage or with the national stage, or you call league, whatever it is. So, now, let's talk about Wisma. Wisma is not a very small city. It's quite big, I would say. And it is always confused between Wisma and another city called Weimar. Why is it? Because they have similar name. And Weimar is somewhere far from here. It's in the middle of Germany, and Wisma is very north. What do we know about Wisma? So, Wisma is a city that is listed as UNESCO World Heritage Center in 2002. So, it's pretty popular, eh? Despite the fact that Wisma is very small, but it is a very important part of Germany because there's a port here and in the past the huge production of wood industry was very important and they would export the wood from other Hanseatic leagues uh, cities and also from here to the south of Germany and so on and another production is beer as you may know that Germany is also very known for its beer production. In each city, they would have their own beer breweries. And here, people would drink more Pilsner and compared to the south, they would drink Hell beer and Bright beer and so on. In Wisma, there are three important churches. St. Marie, St. St. George and the other one. I forget the name. So, regarding the festivals, there are a lot of festivals here as well. Especially because this part used to be a part of Sweden. So once in a while, in August, each year they have Swedish festival. And I don't know what that is, but it looks like a pilgrimage. People walking on the street with different colors and you know, Viking decoration of themselves and everything. Fun fact, there's a huge Vietnamese community living here from the DDR time and because the city used to be part of DDR in the past. So you will most likely find there are a lot of Vietnamese restaurants. One of them is my favorite. Okay, let's go through this way. See that? There's Rostocker. Rostocker is one of the well-known breweries here in 
Mecklenburg Vorpommern. So it's quite famous, right? Fun fact, this water heart was built by a Dutch guy, not a German. So this is the core of Visma. In front of me is the government um, is the governor building. So important meeting. We start here and in front of me there's a map of the whole city. Now let's go and check that out. Here every Thursday people would come and sell the stuff. It's like a, a flea market. This is the map. So we are now somewhere. Somewhere, somewhere. And this is the building on the left side. This is Karstadt Road. This is where all the important businesses are. You have H&M, you've got everything. Bonita and a lot of other important brands here. It's quite crowded right now. This is the traditional guest house that was built earlier here in Wismar in maybe from the medieval times, I don't know. Uh, this is also important. And this is where all the traders would come and probably stay here for the night before going to other places in the past. So that is why this place is still remaining here and people just want to keep them as you know for people to see for tourists and also to give information maybe inside information about the past there's also a museum here dedicated to um, the city but i have never been to the museum just yet here is the information it was built in 1862 so quite old yes this is from the other side so this is the guest house yes it used to be a guest house it was very important in the past but now it's not that important for people to stay it is an iconic place somehow here in the Visma. This is Watergate. From Wisma. So let's explore the port. I believe this is a restaurant or maybe it's a cruise line but it's from Visma so this is the port as you can see from here this is a ship that looks very old it looks like from 
a movie, the Pirate of the Caribbean Sea. And it's owned by the city. You can get a ticket and hop on to explore maybe the city, maybe some part of, of this Baltic Sea. And people are coming more and more. So yeah, this is what it looks like guys from my point of view from this part. See those locks, trees, and this will be shipped on cargo somewhere else. Um, the main train station here in Vesma. So they have lines that goes to Berlin, that goes to Schwerin, Rostock, and so on. So there are some constructions that are going on with the train station, with the railroads and everything. Okay, that's the end of the video. Now I'm preparing to go back to the dorm. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And if you do, please do not forget to subscribe, give a thumb up, and see you in the next one. If you guys have any question or any suggestions for my future videos, you can also leave comments in the comment section below. Please, I also have channels on other social media platforms. Check the description below, you will see my TikTok, my Facebook page. Instagram.